Hello, kiddos. Well, let's keep on with our story. Remember last time I told you that God was preparing Adam for a very special surprise. Remember he had given names to all the animals? And when he finished giving the names, of course, that must have taken a long time, and he was probably pretty tired at the end of it. But anyway, he noticed that all of the animals had two of them. It was always like a daddy and a mommy, and a daddy and a mommy, all of them. The lions and the dogs and the monkeys and the cattle and the horses. And he thought, man, I'm all alone. Everyone has a partner except for me. Well, he maybe he thought about it a long time. I don't know, but he eventually got sleepy, so he fell asleep. And the Bible says in verse 21, and the Lord God caused a deep sleep to fall upon Adam and he slept. In other words, he was out of it, completely out of it. And while he slept, the Bible says, and God, he took one of his ribs. You know where the ribs are? It's where you get, you know, somebody wants to tickle you. They might tickle you in your ribs took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh inside there. So God is quite the doctor. He is quite the surgeon. And he pulled out one of those ribs. Didn't hurt the man. He was asleep. And then he closed it up, closed the flesh over it so that you couldn't even tell he'd done anything. And then verse 22, And the rib which the Lord God had taken from man made he a woman. Whoa, now this is special. So he gets a rib, which is like a bone, and out of that rib, he forms, he makes a woman. Obviously, that took incredible power. Only God could do something like that because a woman is made of much more than a bone. A woman was a full person like like Adam was. So he made he a woman, made he a woman, it says, and brought her unto the man. Can you imagine what a surprise that must have been? <laughs> do you like surprises? I bet you do. Do you like your birthday, birthday presents? They're surprises, aren't they? Many times. And Christmas time, they usually have some surprises there too. And every once in a while, your daddy or your mommy will just surprise you without you even knowing a surprise is coming. Because you know on the birthday and the Christmas that something's coming. But sometimes a, pri- a, su- a surprise comes. You weren't expecting anything. And your mom and your daddy, they bring you a surprise. Oh, wow, that's exciting. And I bet you when Oma and Opa come, they probably bring some surprises too. I bet you so. So God brings man, a woman, and he says, And he thinks, wow, now I have one too. Now I have a partner. There's two of us. Just like all the beautiful animals that God made, there's two of us, too. And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. In other words, he said, she is just like me. In fact, she was made from me. She is perfect for me. She shall be called woman. See, he had named all the animals, so now he names the woman, too. He says, she shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. And that is the amazing story of how we got daddy and mommies forevermore all the way up to this time. That was a long time ago when that happened. And through the years, God has used daddies and mommies to have babies. And then they grow up and then they have babies. And that's the way it goes, just like all the animals did. So what a beautiful surprise God gave to Adam. And God loves to surprise. He loves to surprise his children. And if you love God, then you obey him. God will surprise you many, many times. So many times you can't even keep count of the surprises if you love them. You know why? Because that's what that's the way God is. He loves us. And he loves us to, to surprise us, especially when we are being obedient and worship and love him. Okay? 
Okay, God bless you. Goodbye. Love you.